So in the Cosmos series, Neil deGrasse Tyson makes a comment about how the comets, some of them, take a million years to go around, and he states kind of how far away they, they are. Um, and I wanted to check to see whether this was the, the, the case. So I'll we'll start off by saying that the kinetic energy for an orbiting object <clears throat> is, um, on average, around a half of the gravitational energy. Okay? And in this case, then, the kinetic energy um, would be one half the mass times the speed squared. And then the, we have one half of the gravitational energy, which is the gravitational constant, mass of the sun, mass of our comet, over r, the radius of the, of the orbit. Notice that the uh, um, mass of the comet cancels out in both sides. And what we are left with is a, an expression for the square of the uh, speed that has this form over r. <coughs> now we all, and, and so the picture here it really is, uh, let's assume a circular orbit. So I have the mass of the sun, this is our big M, and we have the comet going around at some speed, and it has some mass, and the radius of the orbit is this r. Um, I can relate the speed also to the time it takes for it to go around from just speed is equal to distance, the circumference, over the time, the period of the, of the orbit. Plugging this, essentially squaring it, squaring that and plugging it into the speed equation, what we get is the following. I get the 2 pi turns into 4 pi squared, r squared, all over t squared. And that should be equal to g m over r. Bringing the r over and dividing everything else through, I get the radius cubed <coughs> excuse me, equals gravitational constant, mass of the sun, the period of orbit squared over 4 pi squared. And this allows us to find the uh, period of, of the, the size of the orbit um, according to the Cosmos uh, series, this was a million years. Uh, the gravitational constant is 6.7 times 10 to the negative 11 joule meter per kilogram squared. And, um, and then uh, the mass of the sun is 2 times 10 to the 30 kilograms. And we can convert the years into seconds, and we'll get 3.2 times 10 to the 13 seconds. So using these values, plugging it into the uh, equation for r cubed, I get r cubed is equal to about 3.48 times 10 to the 45 meter cubed, and so that means the size of the orbit is about 1.5 times 10 to the 15 meters. Now, knowing that one light year is around 10 to the 16 meters, <coughs> the closest stars are about four light years away. This is a good distance to, to the next nearest star, about a tenth of the distance, a little bit more, a little, a little, bit, uh, a little bit less um, than a tenth of the distance. If we're looking at Pluto, this is well, well, well past Pluto. Pluto. Now the other part is that these are not ellip these are not circular orbits; they are highly elliptical. So I could draw it like this, where the sun is, say, here. <clears throat> now we can label the two distances: the kind of closest approach and the farthest approach. I'll label them L1 and L2. And let's say that L1 is somewhere on the order of the orbit of Mercury. So about, you know, 4.5 times 10 to the 7 uh, kilometers, or 4.5 times 10 to the 10 meters. The question is, how far away does the, what, how far does L2, um, what value is L2, how far um, do, do these comets go, and how is that related to R? Well, the R in this equation is really uh, what's known as the semi 
major axis and it's labeled here as if I were to draw a line across this it's one half of this this is R and as you can see <coughs> R is simply L1 plus L2 over 2 it's the total distance over 2 so if I know that R is you know from a previous answer 1.5 times 10 to the 15 meters and I know L1 is say the distance to mercury 4.5 times 10 to the 10 meters plus L2 over 2 you'll notice that 10 to the 10 meters is way 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 smaller than 10 to the 15 so L2 will basically be twice R so it'll be around 3 times 10 to the 15 meters and that's actually much closer to about a tenth of the way to the near near star um, so, and um, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson mentioned that it was out close you know about halfway to the nearest star or, 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 or so and I think he, he may have used something a little bit longer but but pretty much he is correct for for this problem